Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host Zlot, and we're here today doing Alpha 10 on my, uh, well, using my generic brand galaxy scenario that I cooked up. I uh, used the alien planet start this time and uh, we ended up here eventually after you know watch the series <laughs> okay um we are on the aqua here i want to go mine up i want to use the new lasers so we're going to do that we're going to do that really quick we're on this plant uh this island here and yeah that's where the bugged out Rados patrol vessel seems to be it's not there though i mean i cored it i put my own core in there and it's not there it's just some weird ghost relic artifact that got teleported there that doesn't exist and it's unfortunate because we couldn't multi-tool it down i really wanted to that would have contributed a lot to the blueprint and that was really unfortunate but that's what happens with alphas they bug out and it does stupid things like that Okay, anyway, let's just grab the HV here and go mine up the um, stuff around us. So first of all, we want to probably go and put these like this, and then, yeah, actually, that should be... I, don't really need to do anything other than that, really. Uh, here, let's back up out of here. Okay, we'll just leave that to fend for itself. Should be fine. I mean, since the the radar patrol vessel doesn't really exist anymore. It can't harm us. So, I mean, it can only throw drones at us. And it is more than capable of taking on multiple drones at once. So, not a big deal. First of all, I think what we'll do is set up our Wi-Fi. Ooh, let's go in and dump that. And we also have the gold coins, which is nice. Oh, we have a whole bunch of ore still. Crap. Um, wonder if we can just dump it in one of these. I should dump the rest of that in one of those. Do some quick uh, management. And this one should have none, right? Just have, oh yeah, our beer. We got beer. Is that going to spoil? Uh, uh, no. Nice. And I'm going to connect to that. Uh, we should get rid of some of that crap. Oh, it's just that. That's not that big of a deal. Oops. Come on. Grab that. Throw it into mats, and yeah, I can keep the rest on me. That's fine. Okay. Let's quickly dig this up. So we'll cycle back to our first panel and see how quickly this can dig. Wow, super fast. Enough to get stuck. By not paying attention, okay, so. Because this thing does bulge out a bit at the. Wow. Yep, you can really puncture through. Just keep them moving. Oh, there we go. Okay, here we're into it now. Okay, let's switch to cockpit view. Might be a little easier at this point. Right. Do I have lights? There we go. Okay. Can't 
can't remember how much there was in this. I think it was just a small one. So, it shouldn't take that long to dig up. And done. Okay. Now we'll switch for you. Whoop. Pay attention to what I'm doing. There we go. Let's get out. We'll go grab that silicone really quick. Or, mm, yeah, we'll go grab the copper. What's the... Wait, how much do we have? We have 14. Yeah, okay, let's see if we can grab this copper. Medium. We might not be able to grab it all. Wow, it's really... It's really deep, eh? Look at that. 30 meters under the surface is the core of it. Okay. Spin in a quick circle really quick to... Oh, there it is there. We're getting down to it. Okay. Just so that we don't get stuck. Spin a bit. There we go. Give ourselves a nice... I know it's a little bit dizzy, but... There we go. I am kind of hovering a little high. We can go lower. Don't really want to get below two because then you can start getting hung up on underneath. But I usually like around 2.5, 2. Point, yeah, a little bit, a little bit higher. It's kind of I'm banging on the rocks below me here, so hover a little bit higher until you're not touching. That's basically how I find it to be really stable that way. Okay. So. I think this copper node is a bit bigger than the iron was. We, we're probably going to cap out. Well, 10% left. Maybe not. I just got to be really picky how I mine. And that's... The great thing about these lasers is I can really make some precision cuts with them. I like it. And still move around really fast. Look at that. That was awesome. So we mine that out, and then we'll just dump that off on the way back to the silicone. Okay, come on. Let me out here. I'm just going to... Uh, okay. We'll have to cut our way out a bit. Made it a little steep. <laughs> And I'm pretty weighted down. You know what? Okay. So because I'm weighted down, there's a little trick we can do right now. Until they, until they change this. Yeah, I'm almost full. Uh, 23 and, and a half tons is what's killing me right now. That right there is what's killing me. But for some reason, if we put this stuff in our linked bar, that's linked to the container itself, the volume goes down a little bit, not much, and then the, but the weight just seems to disappear too. And I'm not really sure, so now it's like all of a sudden responsive, and we don't even need to dig our way out. We can just fly straight up. <laughs> so if you ever get stuck like that, you can do that. Okay, so there's a silicone over there I want to go get. Let's dump off our ores and we'll go get it on the way by here because we're all linked up. We'll just go like this, dump it into the mats I think. Or you know what, we can put it into its own ore container. Appropriate, right? Oh, it's in the right. <laughs> there, we'll just throw it in here like this. So those are some nice 
short stacks of, of ore here. Get the silicone. And I don't have to change modes now to pop these rocks, which is nice. Uh, that was that was a pain in the butt before. So now with the Alpha 10, that's just a big improvement. Just give ourselves a, a nice wide mouth to work with to get out when we dig ourselves really deep, right? And then to prevent the camera jitters here, what, I, what I'm going to do is the camera's going to start flaking out on me. One thing I can do is I can lower the, I can page down for starters to give myself a little bit of overhead. I, and then I can actually zoom in if I want to. Um, and from this vantage point, is the ship going to get in our face? No, nope, not too bad. Okay. So from this vantage point, we can really get in there and see the camera doesn't like freak out too, too bad. It does a bit, but, and come on, am I getting myself stuck here? <laughs> nope. Just got to wiggle, keep the drill going and wiggle. Can always hit O and keep the drill going, tap the drill, and hit O, can tap the drill. Well, when I'm hitting O, I can't see. Okay, so, anyway, I didn't need to hit O, I was just demonstrating. Oh, we almost mined this out, really? That's funny. So, you can see it's still jittering because I'm right up against some stone behind me, right? So the camera is like, having a tough time, having somewhere to sit, it can't share the space with the terrain, right? That's fine. Just... Well, we're done. Okay. Let's get out of here. And... Oh, what we can do again is... Oh, stop it. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna change my camera here so it stops page up a bit it'll just go freak out on its own here we go and how do we get out of here right there get rid of that little chunk okay okay I don't think there was anything else I wanted from there that wasn't much silicone. Wow. So there's a couple more silicones I'm going to go get. But I think first we'll go check out the unknown structure here. Uh, but I want to go do that with the CV close. So that I can just link to its containers so that anything, any kind of loot that's too heavy, I can just put right in there. as I smash into the back of my hangar bay. That's just brilliant driving. Just brilliant. Oh, I'm, I, I don't think I can get the door open, right? Come on. Let go. There. Okay. Um... Yeah, let's head over there. Oops. Turn my thrusters on. And where are we going around beside us? That's the wrong way. <laughs> like, wait, we're going north. Why are we going north? Oh, stop it. Yeah. Is that the P 
Peninsula to the south here. Over the mountain, there is another small deposit of silicone there. We will get that, it's just I went ahead over to the unknown structure. Here it is. Okay. Obviously my guns have picked up on some alien or it's probably alien. Oh. Hmm. How should I do this? How close is that? 188, but that's because my camera, that's the the distance of my camera, right? Because if I zoom in, see how... And if I page down into where my cockpit is, it's just easier to go like this and look. So, close. Close. Let's settle down. of trees here. Uh, pain in the butt. We've got no trees there. Let's try landing over here. Looks like a bit of a hill though. Probably tip over. You know what? We could probably land over beside it. Yeah, let's let's do that. So let's go like this. Straighten out. Fly over here. some there, I'm just gonna tab and park here ah, let's see not a lot of flat ground well let's try it I'll just zoom out a bit make it easier to see looks like we're right over a tree okay Now, if I rotate a bit, I think we can get the slope going the right way so we don't pitch over to the side too much. There we go. Come on. No, it's not going to let up on the throttle. That's fine. We'll just shut the engines off. Okay, let's see if there's any uh, critters around. I don't hear the guns freaking out. So what I want to do, I guess, is infiltrate this thing, right? So let's jump out. We'll get our stuff equipped. And turn our light on really have to park that far away did I really <laughs> okay let's take the uh, let's take the HP then whoops okay let's switch to our guns wow this is thick vegetation here holy crap um, you know what? We gotta collect some some wood anyway, right? Shoot down some trees. I don't know what those things are. Okay, we 
should be able to get through here now. <laughs> there, let's uh, collect all the wood. Gotta collect all the wood. Yeah, I think we were starting to get a little low on it, so... 30, that's pretty good. <clears throat> Okay. Now, I think what I want to do is, yeah, let's get uh, that out of our way. And wow, the uh, logs tip us over, really? That's awesome. Uh, let's shoot this door out. And then, can we actually see the yeah, I can kind of see the corner of it there, right? Huh. I wonder if we went, like, if we went up really high. And then... Move my... Sights down if I can shoot there. No, it looks like it's actually hitting the, uh, looks like it's hitting the concrete above it, right? Oh, I'm getting in there. No, I'm getting in there. There we go. Okay, so let's fix our, our view. Okay, so nothing technically should be able to spawn now. We will jump out and take a look at this. So what are we connected to right now? Let's put it to the CSE. And connect. There we go. Because we can put... Uh, oh, that's not the one I want to connect to. This is the one I want to connect to. Or the output. Output. Yeah, there we go. 80,000 in the output. That one's kind of the general storage. Well, this looks very interesting. Very rare. Ooh, ooh. Okay. <laughs> Whew. This is awesome. Okay. Oh, actually, I guess I could have just went. Yeah, I could have just went like that. I could have just moved it over directly. Because I'm I'm still connected to the Wi-Fi. I'm, I'm less than 100 meters away from the uh, CSE. So, yeah. Well, that was awesome. Um, what I should do. What I should do. Other than going and doing the silicone, let's let's attach the drill that we've got here. Not output. Where the heck? It was right here. So we're gonna do uh, go like this. Put that on our bar. We're gonna jump out, and we're gonna attach it here. Is that? right there sure it's kind of kind of float because those are half blocks that the the container extensions are only half blocks but that's fine okay so now it's gonna go in our oh what do we got over here I heard I heard a baddie yep okay where there's one there's possibly another Okay. Must have just spawned there. That's fine. Okay, so what I'm going to do now that I've got the... Oh, wait. Yeah, it's a... Was it a... Did I put a multi-turret on or a drill turret? 
Damn it, multi turret. Good. <clears throat> okay. Um. So we can zap this thing down without any. Yeah, I'll take the hardened steel plate out of it, and that—that's good. I'm not gonna put a core in this. I'll just. Basically, it's equivalent to salvaging it when you don't have a core in it. Although that's a lot of... That's a lot of blocks that we could potentially be getting a lot more out of. Hmm. You know what? Maybe we should core it up. Do I have any cores made? I don't think there's anything in these. Oh, there's lots of stone. Okay, well. What about the mini miner? Did I put any in here? No. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I got a couple blocks anyway. So, what we'll do is go back to the CSE and make a core. Because I didn't break it, bring any of the ones that I had made at the base. Because, you know, why would I do something smart like that? So we'll make a core. That's fine. <clears throat> it's not like we don't have the mats to do it. Okay. And then uh, we can put all of our wood that I just collected into mats. Put that in there too. And we'll put this into the uh, output. Okay, now Grab our core. Head back over there. Oh, it's raining. Nice. I guess that's appropriate for an ocean planet. We'll just, um... Uh, where should we put this? Let's, um... Put it there, off to the side. Okay, so let's tab in, tab out. Let's take a look to see what it's our attack probability is. Uh, forty-two percent, because they're mostly reputation. That's fine. Okay. Uh, what can we grab out of here? Let's grab some fuel. Oops. And I don't think I had any O2. No. Okay. So. <clears throat> Let's try getting as much as this thing as we can before it gets base attacked. So we'll jump back into the uh, multi-turret. And now we should get the whole blocks. Yep. Nice. As long as I don't miss. There we go. Hard and steel, Xeno steel. Nice. Oops. We're losing blocks. That's fine. That's just fine. Nice. Oh, what's going on here? Why are we. F that was weird. Oh, you know what's going on? I know what's going on. Here, let's... Wow. We're going to tip... Look at... I'm just... I don't have any... Uh, we're tipping upside down. You know why? Because <laughs> of the steel 
the hardened steel blocks we are so way down we can hardly move look at this it's crazy it's just crazy we can't oh we're about to tip over oh okay but i bet you if we went into here and put these well it doesn't matter i'll just throw them into here There we go. There. Now we're fine. <laughs> okay, so let's try this again without tipping over. Well, at least we're really close to the CSE. We can just dump, the, transfer the stuff over pretty quick. It's nice. Yeah, we definitely need to make a better HP for um, for POI raids, basically, is what we need. Oh, we're getting heavy again. We're starting to tip. We're starting to dip. No, give me more blocks, damn <laughs> We're going to tip over again. Are we going to tip over again? I think so. I think so. Oh... Oh, no, we sank to the ground. There we go. We sank to the ground. Oops. We're losing blocks. Losing blocks. That's okay. That's okay. Here, let's... Can we get our... No. We can't get our radar back. That's okay. The... The... Our capital vessel should be able to defend ourselves. No storage, okay. So, let's transfer that over. We're gonna go into the output, right? Yep. Okay, um, well that's interesting. Why did it do that? It flipped me on its... <laughs> Stupid thing, there. Okay, well, let's... Keep going. Well, I'm losing blocks. That's fine. I don't really care. Wow. This is quite a large structure, actually. It's got a lot of blocks to it. Oh, we're... We're... Oh, we're... We're... Sliding away again, <laughs> and uh... <laughs> yeah, I, I need a much bigger HP to do this. This is getting tedious now. This is getting really tedious. It's almost worth uh, doing it with my my T2 and just directly. So okay, so let's do this. Do, let's try this. Uh, we're going to connect. Not player. CSE. So we're connected to the CSE right now. Oops. Nice. That's actually a pretty healthy sum of Xeno blocks, too. Xeno steel. Okay, so we're connected to the output. And because it's only 80 meters away, let's launch our drone, tab it up in the middle of a rain shower at night, but that's okay. We're going to retrieve blocks and yeah, this ain't any slower The the T2 Yeah, realistically, this isn't really much slower. Because I was, uh... Yeah. Impressive. The T2 multi-tool for... The only thing is, is I'm using up charges, right? And I have to... I'm kind of exposed out there to the wildlife and whatnot. But I, I have the, uh... 
the big CSE with me right there, so help me out. Shouldn't be that big of an issue. Yeah, this is going fast. This is actually going faster than the HV doing it because the HV doesn't have the carrying capacity. So, that means we need to make a better HV. That means we need somewhere to make a better HV, or either planet side or space side. Um, I mean, I'd love to get the the CV blueprinted in, the one that we're have the uh, blueprint factory selected to. Um, oops. And that's the other thing using the, the personal multi-tool is when you screw something up like that, you have a chance of picking it up. Whereas wearing you in the uh, multi-tool turret, you can't pick up anything that you've screwed up because you're in the turret. <clears throat> It's not that big of an issue. It's just they're yeah. This is going this is going pretty fast by hand. Now, if I had a T1 multi tool, I probably wouldn't be doing this. I'd be still using the HV. But this is just as fast, if not faster, than the HV. So we'll continue to do this. Nice. These are a lot of blocks, a lot of hardened steel blocks. Like, wow. I'm actually really surprised at how many there are. Like, the whole thing's made out of hardened steel for the most part. I'm a little surprised. That's good, good resources. And then when we're finished this, we'll throw it all into the blueprint factory and see how it stacks up. See how much we get out of it. This is excellent. Okay. We'll nuke this down and no more unknown structure. <laughs>